Hey, very good morning, everybody. And I'm going to put go into screen mode. I'm going to share my desktop. And then we're good to go. Perfect. Thank you. Um, so I am working on somebody else's computer, and it seems to have a virus. So I do apologize. There's big pop-ups um, appearing. So just ignore them if you can see them. So uh, what we're going to do today is uh, a way to generate leads using your Moxie website. And to start at the very beginning to get there, you go to Schmidt Resources and select the tile for your state. I am in Florida. And you go to the Moxie Works tile here, click there. And then My Schmidt Resources is here. If you don't have the login that you need, if you're an agent watching this, um, contact your ASC and they will provide you with your username and login. This is the first page. And when you uh, want to get to the website settings, you can either go to my website here at the top and click there. But if you want to just check um, how your website info is looking, it's a good time just to check it and make sure that you're happy with your bio and your social media links. So once you click um, into your website, it will take you over to this page. And from here, you can do some really nice customization. And the first one that I want to take a look at today is the homepage. So on the, I'm just waiting for that to load. On the homepage, there's different ways of um, building your homepage out. There is a pre-made template, which is very basic, but today we're gonna to look at the more advanced options so that you can have lead generation tools on the, uh, the front page. So when you first log into uh, Moxie and you've chosen your page, sorry about the pop-ups, um, you can choose your page style and you can select custom. So you've got search focused, which is the, the pre-built template and agent focused. These are perfectly adequate websites, but once you want to move to the extra tools, you'll want to go to custom. And I've been just building different custom pages. So I'm going to select one that I, I kind of put together already for this you know, demonstration. So once I go to uh, here on the left hand side, home page, Let's wait for that to load. We have this product called Page Builder, and this is where Moxie get, uh, the Moxie actual website gets really exciting because all of the extra tools are hidden behind that blue button, Page Builder. And with Page Builder, you can really simply, and it doesn't take uh, website building skills, you can start to edit and really make your website your own and start adding things like videos, and um, adding uh, video backgrounds and chat uh, facilities. But the one we want to concentrate on today is this. So this is a um, neighborhood news lead capture form that you can place right on the front page of your website, or you could add to an, uh, an individual new page. So the way that you do that is up at the top right here. So if you did notice that, I just moved over to, once I click page builder, I moved over to a, a representation now of the page. And as you can see, as I move around, there's blue boxes appearing as I move around the page. This is allowing me to edit those sections. So what I'm going to do is remove this section and then rebuild it. Okay. So here I have a, a blank box now, and in that box, I want to put one of the tools. So on the top right hand corner here, there's a plus, and this is where all the magic is. This is bizarrely exciting for me, which is weird, isn't it? I know. So um, we have what's called widgets, and widgets are pre built bits of software that allow us to make our websites really uh, productive. So here are the widgets, and there are also uh, modules and other add ons, which we're going to cover over the weeks. Um, but here we have a contact me module featured properties, mortgage rates, your contact details, the property search module, which is the one that, uh, you know, has the search bar across the top where people can look for any property, custom search modules where you can focus on the different types of properties in your market, uh, links so you can put anything on. So you can put your, um, you know, accountants, tax advisors, um, then people like home inspectors, mortgage contacts, your sphere, in other words, your commercial business sphere. But down here, we've got um, the neighborhood news module. So the purpose of the neighborhood news module, this is how easy it is. So you 
grab grab it like that and slide it into the section on the page. So it wouldn't work there. It's got to go in that blue block, which is on the page, which is where I want to place it. And then you'll just let go. And what happens now is that module reappears. And that's how easy it is. So you just then click save. So what that does is that allows a person to land on this page that we've sent, say, from a social media post or an email campaign, <coughs> excuse me, to simply sign up for the neighborhood news. So they enter their name, the email, and the desired zip code for their area. And that will automatically then transfer that as a new lead, a new opportunity for the agent into their engage. So it goes from the website and then appears as a leading in engage and sets them up in engage automatically for a neighborhood news report, which is a, which is a live market report that goes out once a month um, for, um, for that particular zip code to that client. So once you're done, click done and then it says, do you want to publish that change? So I'm going to click publish and then that will appear out on the, um, on the website. So to exit out, I'm going to go to admin home and then I can view the website. I apologize for these pop-ups. So now we're looking at the Moxie website and as we scroll down, there is the neighborhood news. So an alternate version of this is to build a page and that would allow us to have a landing page to specifically post onto social media so people can just sign up for neighborhood news. So an example of that would be just let the page load. Would be this. So the neighborhood news is really, really useful for people who are looking to buy or sell real estate, but in particular to sell, because what it does is it lets a seller know what's going on in their market. So this particular page here has um, the zip code here. It's got um, the properties that are active in the market. Um, and it also gives them information um, that they can edit, you know, they can change the zip code and, and keep an eye on the marketplace. Um, but you could add that landing page uh, form right there. Um, another way of doing that, if you go over to admin again, and you create a new page, so you would go to site pages, add new. And let's say we wanted to build a page that is just for sending people from an email follow up plan. So maybe you've got a lot of contacts and you want to invite them to sign up. So you want a page specifically for signing up for neighborhood news, or you want to post neighborhood news onto your Facebook page and have them sign up from Facebook you will create a custom page here. So site pages, custom page, submit. And then we're going to give it a name, which will be sign, oh, not sing. Sign up for free market report. Okay, now you can change that terminology just as you like. Um, now, see we've got text editor here. You just pop over to page builder. It just makes it so much easier. So I'm going to click page builder. Oh, just a second. And let that load. I'm in the office here, not at home. So this internet's a little bit sketchy. Just wait for that to load up. Okay, I'm going to do it a different way. I'm going to publish the page. It might even start again if it doesn't load. Yep, it's coming. Okay, so the URL is sign up for free market reports, which looks good. I gave the name of the page a simple friendly name so that I can use that on Facebook. And then here, I've got a blank page. All it will have on is the logo and, and my menu and the legal footer. And now I'm going to build what the page is going to look like. So I go to, uh, first of all, I want to divide the page into two. 
um, so that I've got a left and a right column or, or a, a, a place above and below when it's on a cell phone. Now I do that by going to columns. So I'd like to have two here. So you just drag the two columns and place that here. Okay. So that's done by selecting the group columns, pre-built rows, save, just select columns. Then you can have as many columns as you like, but two is the one here. And the reason I'm doing that is because I need to insert this module into a column. So now I'm going to go back to widgets that we had earlier. I'm going to get my neighborhood news module and drop it into the right hand column. Okay. Then I'm going to click save. Now on the left hand side here, um, I'd like to have something about um, what this is um, intended to offer. So if I go back to just a second, oh, good grief, I've got pop ups all over the place. Um, I'm just going to get back to my page here. Um, if you remember, we were looking a few seconds ago at the neighborhood news and what it looks like. So to give people a kind of taste of what they're going to receive, I'm going to take a screenshot of the neighborhood news so they can get an idea of what it's going to look like. Um, on a Mac, you do shift command four and then just select the area that you want to. If you look it up for a, a PC, just Google how to do a screenshot. You just basically select the area that you want to put in. And then I'm going to um, pen appearing. <clears throat> just going to save that to photographs. So now I'm going to go back to the page that I was building. And here we've got more uh, modules. So go back to standard modules and it says insert uh, an image. So I'm just going to make sure photo would be the right one. Oops, a second, photo, grab it. So I'm going to drop that over here. Okay. Then when you're adding photographs, um, you need to upload it onto your uh, page. So these are some photos I've got on my site. And then you select the photo that you've um, saved. If I can, if it will let me. See how one of the tens like it. I think mostly. Yeah. Just make sure there's pictures there. There's anyway, you'll just select an image. So I'm just gonna um I don't think that downloaded to the place. Again, I'm not on my computer, so um I'll just have to jump back and find that one it take me a sec. This is what happens when you have to use someone else's machine. Bring this screen to the fore. Cancel that out. And resave that image. So um, this is the neighborhood news. I'm just going to quickly save it again to a different place so I can find it next time. There we go. So it's uh, shift command in the far. Select the area I want to copy, which will be down to just there, actually. Okay, this time I'm going to do it differently, which is select it here. So if it'll let me save it to... So what happens when you use someone else's machine? It's not set up the same as mine. Anyway, you would put that image just to save time here. Okay. That works. I just back out of everything. Okay. So I don't have a picture that I can just drop in there uh, so easily. 
So I'm going to cheat. So you will put the image that you took. That isn't the one I just took because I can't find it on this machine. Um, but you put this picture, which is a neighborhood news picture, and put that to the left hand side to give people an idea what they're signing up for. And then click done and then click publish. And now you've got a dedicated page. So not this is different to the one we did at the beginning, which shows on the um, main front page of the website. This is a page that you can then immediately share onto social media. So once that's done and saved, all we have to do then is go over to our page structure on the website. So here we have site pages and we'll look at them all. And we have sign up for free market reports here. Okay, you have to select a featured image. This is really important step because without a featured image, when you post it onto Facebook, it won't ha it'll come up with the logo from your website. So selecting the featured image, which I'll do that again. <clears throat> so you click on all pages, just qu a quick edit to bring you back to the um, menu editor of the page. And here it says select featured image. So when people are posting links on Facebook, probably wondering why the um, the image is always the logo from the website is because they haven't selected that image. Once that's done, um, we uh, update the page. That's publishing it out to um, the server and everything's good to go. And this is now uh, a page that's fully set up to post. So that's the permalink right there. So this is my brand new page with its lead capture form. It's very simple and, and it will work because of its simplicity. And then all we have to do then is jump onto um, a social media page. I have no idea whose social media page this is, but we're gonna jump on it. And you just click here and click paste that link and it will read from the server the image. So now we've got the Moxie um, link, sign up for free market reports. And before we give away somebody's privacy, we'll get rid of that. Okay, right, so that is everything for that today. So, oh, if there's any questions, do you want to pop them in the chat box? I don't know if you want to quickly do that. Sometimes they'll pop up. It's one zip, it's one zip code at a time, but you can do multiple reports.